Hey guys, it's Ryan from JRocks.com. I'm here today to go through a short tutorial again on um, setting up the mailing list and newsletter portion for the JRox e-commerce manager. So here we go. Uh, as you can see, we're in the dashboard. So just log into your Gem admin area, click on Marketing, Mailing List. By default, uh, Gem automatically has a couple of mailing lists installed. Um, the default affiliates and customers. Here we've added two different mailing lists uh, for testing, but uh, basically this is the you know the area where you can send email to all of your subscribers, to all your affiliates or customers. Um, the way that Gem works is when uh, someone signs up using the registration form or either as a customer, um, they're automatically placed in certain mailing lists. Um, so first off, the, the default mailing list is where all the users go into um, when they sign up as a um, on your site, either as a via registration or through um, a regular sign up form. Um, customers, obviously, these are the mailing lists for customers and also affiliates. Uh, you can add as many mailing lists as you want. As you can see, you can just add new mailing lists here. So you can let's say you want to add uh, another mailing list. Let's just put test. So you can see it's automatically added here. It also will show the number of follow-ups that are set for that particular mailing list, and also the number of members that are currently subscribed for that mailing list. If you click on the, um, the number here for members, you'll it will also show the current subscribers for that particular mailing list as well as the actual sequence of the follow-up that they're um, currently going, going to be sent to and also the send date when their next follow-up will be. So let's go back to mailing list here. Um, if you click on the mailing list itself, you'll be able to add as many follow-ups as you want. Now for uh, an example of a follow-up is, is basically an, an automated um, number an automated message so what what happens is if, if a person subscribes to your site or purchases something from you um, they automatically get subscribed to a mailing list and from there gem can automatically send uh, pre created uh, emails to that particular user that you've created so for instance um, you know I subscribe to your site uh, I automatically get subscribed to the default mailing list on day one or on the first day that I subscribe I get sent this welcome email um, that's all automated for you on day two which is the next day we've set it here as the number of days uh, to be sent I'll automatically get sent this day two e-course um, email so that's automatically that'll automatically be done for you um, by the gem software and again, on day three, I'll get this email uh, e-course sent to me automatically. Uh, the good, th the great thing about this particular uh, option is that you can, you know, you can send, you can automate your marketing messages, automate, uh, you know, things that you want to tell or, or or show or um, get your user to um, learn about. This is all done for you um, right through the mailing list option here in Gem. So you can you can add as many follow-ups as you want as you can see here you know we can just say day four follow-up um, let's just say welcome to day four and you can have either HTML format or text format also, you can change the HTML options here. Okay, now we've added that. Now you see it's a, it's a, going to be a, a day four follow up on this particular mailing list. You can do the same thing for all the other mailing lists as well. Each mailing list can have as many follow up messages as you want. And you can also do a broadcast um, email to all the mailing lists or all just a specific ones. For example here, if we check all of these, you can send a mass mail email to all these 
subscribers. If you only want to have send it to certain ones, let's say affiliates and customers, you can check those and click send mass email. And then you can automatically type the email here and it will be sent to all the subscribers for those particular lists as given here. Um, another option to think about is also custom templates. You can load, um, you can add custom templates in the settings email templates area. Um, as you can see, these are the, the system email generated uh, templates. And you can add another template that you can use as a custom template. Uh, let's say, for instance, you have, you know, emails that you always write over and over again and you, you'd rather just save it as a template and be able to send that at any time you want. You can do that here. You can just add a, an email template by clicking on the add email template. And when you go and click on uh, mailing list, it, will, it should show up on this drop down here. So for instance, let's do a test here. We'll send it all to all our subscribers. Click send mass email. As you can see, it automatically uh, loads up the the text for that particular email template so you don't have to rewrite it again um, one last thing to to talk about is if you you can also do um, you can automatically have users subscribe to certain mailing lists based on the product that they purchase so for example um, let's go to manage products uh, polo shirt here Let's say, for example, you want to have a user subscribe to a certain mailing list when they buy this polo shirt. You can actually do that when uh, by clicking on groups, add to mailing list. And let's say they want to add them to a second mailing list. Click submit. And that should be it. Now, anytime somebody purchases this polo shirt and, and pays through and goes and becomes a customer, will automatically be added to that second mailing list. So you can pretty much create a very targeted email message or marketing message that goes out to that particular user um, based on the actual product that they purchase. So you can, you know, for example, if a person buys that polo shirt, you can they automatically get subscribed to the second mailing list. You get uh, you get them to you send them automatic messages regarding future promotions on, you know, other polo shirts or other um, other things that are related to that particular product. You can do that uh, right through this particular uh, this this option here. Um, finally, if you you can also click on settings global configuration, and you can make changes to the default mailing list that users are subscribed to when they when they uh, first purchase so you click on settings global configuration store you click on cart settings and down here there's an option that says add customer to mailing list um, so when they when they purchase from you uh, by default if a user signs up they are put into the default mailing list but when they purchase something from you you can automatically add them to the customers mailing list and remove them from another mailing list so if you want to keep your default mailing list only for prospects of people who haven't purchased from you yet, you can do that too. Um, and then just have them automatically added to a customer's mailing list, making sure that that particular user, you know, you can filter it uh, so that only the def only people who haven't purchased from you are, are in the default mailing list and people who have purchased from you are in the customer's mailing list. So basically that's it for mailing lists. Um, you know, it's a pretty, a fairly robust module, as you can see. Uh, you can, like I said, you can add as many uh, mailing lists as you want. Um, one last thing to 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 th to make sure is you have to make sure that you've set up the cron jobs for scheduled uh, emails to go out. This is done through system cron job settings, and you have to make sure that you've added these one of these uh, these cron jobs over on your web hosting control panel. So basically that's it. Thanks a lot. Bye.